Hello everyone, this is uh, Kevin Clay from Six Sigma Development Solutions and this is Devin Smith, our training coordinator. Um, and today we are uh, going to show you a film, uh, an actual simulation of the, um, the catapult uh, experiment. And the, uh, this is for our Green Belt uh, review, which is day one of our Black Belt course. So we're doing this uh, specifically for our live virtual students so they can see uh, how a uh, actual live catapult is set up. So we've got uh, a number of X's or inputs here. Uh, and these are going to go in your input map, in your qualitative analysis uh, that you're going to do during the Greenbelt course. Uh, and the inputs that we have here are the catapults. Uh, you'll see here we have a catapult by Air Academy Associates. Um, with that catapult, we have uh, two catapult uh, balls right here. There we go. Uh, we have a uh, rubber band as well. Uh, we have tape to fasten the catapult down. Uh, we have sharpies in order to uh, mark things on uh, the catapult um, area. We have uh, Reynolds wrap. Uh, this is really good for us to be able to see where the ball actually hits uh, the arena. We have a uh, pair of scissors. Uh, we're going to use this for a number of things. Uh, we have some clamps and the clamps are to help us to clamp down the actual catapult. Uh, and then we have a template for our castle. So our castle is a 12 by 12 castle. Uh, in the middle is the uh, uh, Royals quarters. Uh, and so we use this template to actually mark this on the arena, uh, on the field of battle, uh, so that, that we know, where, you know what we're trying to hit. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around here and I'm going to take you to the field of battle. So the field of, field of battle, and I'll stand all the way on the end here, uh, is a couple of tables put together. So um, these tables, what we have done is we have taken Reynolds wrap uh, and we have uh, put it out the length of the table. And you'll see here, you'll see here, and we won't start setting up yet. But you'll see here, it's very hard to see, but you'll see the castle in a square and you'll see the royals quarters uh, in the middle of that square. And that's what we're trying to hit. Okay, so now we are going to show you how to set up the catapults. Uh, what you see here is the catapults. And Devin is going to attach the uh, rubber band to the catapult. So she is attaching it to what's called the rubber band pin. So she is going to loop that through the rubber band pin. And then it's going to go over what's called the tension pin. Uh, and then attach to the catapult itself. Okay, what Devin is doing right now is she is lining uh, the catapult up with the uh, with the castle uh, and the royal's quarters in the castle, uh, and she's going to attach it or fasten it to the table. The catapult has a, has a tendency to uh, uh, jump quite a bit when the uh, catapult missile is launched. So we're going to fasten it to the table uh, in order to, to make uh, our shots you know, stable uh, with as little variation as possible. She is going to fasten the uh, back of the catapult as well. Um, she's going to use two clamps. Uh, to even give it more stability. So 
So she's putting those two clamps on to where the uh, catapult arm will actually be able to um, uh, go all the way back. Okay, so Devin will uh, explain the different variables that uh, we're going to change in order to get some, some different distances out of our shots. So we have three different variables that we're going to be changing. The first one is the stop angle. And so on the catapult arm, there's an arrow and it points to the different measurements of the stop angle. So this first shot we're going to do at a stop angle of 125. Then the second variable is the tension pin. And the tension pin has four different um, levels that you can do. So this first one we're going to have it at tension number four. Then the rubber band pin has four different levels, actually five different levels as well. And this first shot we're going to do it on level number three. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, uh, as she takes the shot, uh, I'm going to film uh, what happens to the actual catapult because it, that, that could be of, of interest to you uh, in your, your uh, analysis for your green belt review. So things could happen. It, it could move, it could jostle, uh, and that could add variation to, to her actual shot. So she's going to take the first shot and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so she's going to go down and she's going to measure where the shot hit. Right here. All right, excellent. And so she'll circle that and put a number to it so that we can have reference to it uh, in, in our data sheet. And then measuring at 121.62. Excellent, excellent. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to take our second shot. So we'll let Devin get the ball. Uh oh, we had a little uh, uh -oh. malfunction there. One of our clamps came off, but we'll fix that. And because we have the other clamp on, uh, hopefully it did move. But, you know, it, there's a possibility it did, and that could cause some variation in our shots. Again, these are thing, points of interest for your, uh, your analysis. Okay. So for this next shot, we're going to move the tension pin, or the, I'm sorry, the stop angle. And we're going to move it up to where it is at 109. And then our tension pin is going to stay at four, and we're actually going to move our rubber band position from three to four. I'm going to take this out. Move it up one. And you'll notice that our um, stop angle is almost in, in categories, but you can actually, once you start to optimize this, yeah, you don't have to stop it at pulling it all the way back. You might want to pull it or halfway back or a quarter of the way back. So the, these are just things that uh, we can do to optimize our process. All right here's our second shot. All right, shot number two. Okay. So Devin is coming, come down and look right at our here. second shot. Excellent. And that is measuring at 102.375. Good deal. Okay, so she'll grab the ball and we'll take the last shot that we are going to film. We are going to uh, take the rest of the shots, the other uh, seven shots. We'll have ten shots in total. Uh, and we will give that to that information to you in a spreadsheet. Uh, it will be made, made available to you so that you can do uh, any kind of statistical analysis that you deem um, 
feasible to help you to optimize the process. So for this shot, I'm moving the stop angle back to 140, and then our tension pin is moving down from four to three, and our rubber band is gonna stay at four. Okay, and I am going to show you uh, the catapult from an aerial view so you can see if there's anything of interest uh, when the shot's being taken. Mm -hmm. All right, and that one landed right here. And it's measuring at one oh seven point two five zero. Great, great. So we still have seven more shots uh, that we need to take and we need to measure. So again, we're going to put those into a multi-vary uh, sheet for you that will have the um, uh, stop angle, it will have the tension position, and it will have the rubber band position. Uh, and then you can use that to do any kind of statistical analysis like regression, ANOVA, one or two T, uh, two T tests, um, anything that you feel will get you to optimize the process to hit within uh, the Royal, Royals quota. So this is Kevin Clay uh, and Devin Smith, our training coordinator, and we hope you have a great class. Thank you.